So, uh, welcome to ITSP Technology. My name is Vivek. So, this is you have uh, seen this title or uh, like uh, thumbnail you have. You can see like this is the revision session. Last four six session I have uh, taken in the core Java, core Java related to Java fundamental like language fundamental. So, in that uh, last video we have uh, I have uploaded. I have uploaded last video right so you can go and watch and also i have uploaded the notes in the group this is the you can download you just click on this not build download note it's downloaded this is the pdf form you can open this so here is the notes are there all the notes uh, once i will revision uh, this okay so this is the group you can go and check it and uh, let's start today's discussion so today's is uh, our revision session so it will take one hour two hours three hours let's see and we will complete all the we will revise all the topic we have which topic we learned in the last six sessions in the three hours two hours it will take i don't know how much time it will take so let's start this so are you guys ready it, you can watch the last six videos then you can understand easily because here i am just revision purpose is nothing but i'm not showing any practical in the ide and other things just is, is explaining theory and language fundamental is based on theory just it and next topic our will be operators operators and assignment operators okay so let's start let's start with so open the ppt otherwise you can pdf not required Online sessions, code Java. Yeah, this one. So open this. Think so. This is not related to our okay. This one. So better to open PDF, which we will download download section, open the PDF. So let's start this discussion. Okay, perfect. In the PDF, taking this. Okay. I think something happened if we select a pin PDF is not scrolling. Okay. So now here uh, we learn these topics. Okay. Literals, arrays, asynchronous, Java coding. And up to this we learn. Okay. So do one thing open our like PPT also. PPT is good. Oh, first we got to remove this. Upload this one. Public online session for Java. Open language fundamental PPT. So now share this. Great. Okay. Welcome in ITSP. So these are topics we learned in that last five sessions. So this topic, I'm taking a different pane, color of this pane, like we tried uh, the thing, we'll use red here using, or the using this color, let's say. use a pen. pen. It's similar like this. Let's select this. Yeah. Okay. We learned about literals. Once one more, we will discuss literals and arrays. Array declaration. How to declare array? Inside the array declaration, we have three type of single dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional array. In the array construction, how to construct the array? Array initialization and array declaration in a single line length method and versus length error method we have seen 
तो एनोनिमस एरे वी सीन वी लर्न एंड एरे एलिमेंट असाइनमेंट एरे वेरिएबल असाइनमेंट एंड ऑल्सो डेटा टाइप दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट नंबर स्कोर जाबा द परमिटेड डेटा टाइप रेफरेंस डेटा टाइप इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल स्टैटिक वेरिएबल लोकल वेरिएबल एंड आर एट द एंड लास्ट कंक्लूजन हाउ टू अन इनिशियलाइज्ड एरे हाउ हाउ इफ यू नॉट इनिशियलाइज द एरे देन व्हाट वैल्यू इट विल टेक एट द टाइम ऑफ इनिशियलाइजेशन सो इन द एरे इस कांसेप्ट तो इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल इट इज यूज्ड एंड लोकल वेरिएबल आई हैव डिस्कस्ड one more time i will discuss varag method how to use varag method and where you can use it main method also we have discussed and command line argument because in the i am using latest 21 version so maybe its command line is not working right now so what happen i don't know so java standard this is not required right now is no one in the industry is passing this type of command line argument so java coding standard we have seen in the last video video number 6 you can go and watch it so java coding standards how we follow the coding standards in the class level interface level method level variable level how to declare a method how to declare a, a, a method and how to declare a variables how to declare interface and how to declare a classes and constructor also we have seen in the last video and standard of the beans class how to declare a beans and setup method what is the setup method how to declare a setup method and coding set us and get us both things we have just and register listeners how to register a listener like uh, creating a method how what is the way to you create a method suppose if you are want to add a student so what is the method name add student this is the requirement this is the suppose you have add you want to add a student so you should add student like that you can declare method name like this so that here we are talking about it. various memory memory also we have talked we will talked in this so we have in the uh, jvm we have five types of memory okay both five types of main is heap method stack pc and one more thing is there let's see in the i have forgotted one method area okay, five is there डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू We cannot change. Okay, so this can you can say these are literals. This is the variable. This is the constant value. This is the data types, right? So integral literals. Integral literals. What are they? Integral literals. What are they? Mainly four types. What is that? Inside the integer value, we can declare four. One is the type, but sorry, byte, sort, int, and long. If byte is using most. Uh, mostly in the like uh, sending a data okay in the small format like small data if you are not sufficient byte you can use sort if you not sufficient sort you can use int if you int is not sufficient you can go with a long so long is taking more value more like range okay follow the decimal integer allowed to digit what is the decimal integral 0 to 9 in the decimal integral you can assign 0 to 9 like example x equals to 10 okay the octal literal assign 0 to 7 value should be in prefixed with the 0 what is that value should be in prefixed with the 0 if any start value 0 then it will take as the octal what is that octal right so now let's see okay so now hexadecimal literals we have hexadecimal literals we have the following digit are start with 0 and a to z hexadecimal literals a to z and 0 to 9 for the extra digit we can use both upper case and lower case extra digit we can use it so this one can view areas where java is not case sensitive in this area java is not sensitive but java is purely case sensitive here you can take 0 and x as capital or x as a small it, doesn't mean in the java 
there are only possible way to specify the integers. So there are possible way. Okay. X equals to 0, 0, 7. This is the octal number you can define. The, the, this is the ballot. 0, 0, X, this is the not octal number, you, but you are starting with that 0. But here is the 7. What is the octal number uh, um, range is 0 to 7. But here you declared 8. Right. So this is not valid. Compile time error. So int x 0 x f a c valid because this is the a to z you can take it and x equals to o x x v f valid if is valid this invalid because it's taking with and capital is taking with that's why it's invalid. So here six point is x zero x b b two c d like this is valid. So now this is the example x equals to 10 and y equals to 101 that is the octal you can take it this is also valid so here you can uh, here it's printing the value here is the 10 the 8 the format is going on 0101 okay and here is the 16. so now next is So by default, every integer, every integer literal int type, but we can specify explicitly long type. Every integer in, in by default is the integer type, but you can default define as the long type by explicitly by using I or with the small L or capital L. So if you want to declare along so you can use with that variable int equals to 10 l l means is this value is taken as a long okay long variable or long you cannot assign inside the int take it at long if you try to assign integer value integer value inside the long it won't work it won't work here you can declare a long right and here 10l is good okay if you using like int I equals to 10 L. It will give a loss of precision error. Why? Because 10 is long and long cannot assign with the integer because long is in the series is long is big. Right? This is the series is going on. Like byte, sort, right? Here is the int, long, float, boolean, float, and carrier. Here is carrier is there. Like this is going on. So, this is the bigger than that. Long is bigger than that i integer. So you cannot initialize the small value, bigger value inside the small sizes. Right? Suppose integer having this back, but long having this. So how you can add this back into this? Not possible. But you can add this back into this. Suppose. If we take int equals to 10, it's perfectly working. Here is i, you can use it. I. Oh, this is all about this topic. So this point also we can learn. There is a direct way to specify byte sort literal explicitly. This is the direct way to we can but whenever we are uh, assigning an integral literal to the byte variable and its value within the range of a byte, compiler automatically treated as a byte literal. Similarly, sort literals. Here is the example. You can see byte is within the range. So you can directly initialize with the byte. If you byte out of the range, then it will give the exception called or uh, like error, compile time error. Loss of precision means, means data is loss. So sort is there. Sort you can uh, within the range you can in, uh, add like add the value inside that uh, variable. If you out of the range, then same error will rise. Right. So next is this is the revision, not uh, teaching all the points here. Revision is the same thing I will follow in the next lecture.
first we will teach slowly then i will take a one session once topic is completed i will take a one session for the revision purpose okay for you guys so floating point letters we completed what is that integral letter now next is floating inside the integral we have four point what is that white tell me white sort int long where it's belonging integral integral literals right in the floating literals what is that floating this word by default double type but we can specify explicitly as a float right in the floating if the floating is default values if you take float f equal to 10 then it will take as a long double type it will not take as a float if you want to use float f equals to you can 10 define as the f using capital f or like a small f whatever you want you can use it not a restriction so this is the way so example you can see same example is there when you are trying to initialize more than that value like floating point is nothing when you try to add this this is the possible loss of precision why because you are initializing floating point not a double floating right you just put a yep then it's working fine otherwise it's getting valid it, it's invalid case so here float is like this double you can use here you can use the double then it won't give any error right so double is d equals to this is the value so when can specify explicitly floating point literal as a double type by the suffixed with d or d suffixed with d or d if you want uh, this point is if you want to declare a double value if you want to declare a double value then you can use a d or like capital d so user can uh, developer can easily understand this is the double value double value initializing with the double value if you use the double if you use double and initialize with the floating it not work it will not work okay so now some examples are the we can specify floating point literals only in the decimal form we can't specify in octal and hexadecimal floating point literal only in the decimal form not in hexa hexa, hexa and if you trying to initialize the uh, floating where floating point literals in the hexa or octa it will not work giving the compile time error right so next topic let's see So here, which of the following is declaration as valid or invalid? You can tell me. So float f equals to 2.256. Yeah, if you want to declare as a float, then you should pass as the f in the last. It will not giving error, so it will invalid. Float f equals to 1.2.3. It is loss of precision error. Why? Because you are declaring, you are passing a double value or you are adding inside the float double is more than float value so double is a small large box and float is a small box and how can you add is large box inside the small box it is not possible in the real time in java also it, it is not possible so fourth point is double d equals to x of is valid in the double you can use this we can assign integral literal directly to the floating points data types and that integral integral can be specified in the decimal can be specified in the decimal octa and hexadecimal form also like that hexa and octa print this you can uh, take a pdf from my Facebook group and practice these examples and learn this, okay? You don't write, just listen. But uh, we can't assign floating point literal directly to the integral type. But we can't assign floating point literals. Floating point literals directly to the integral. Like we have one floating. 
float f equals to 10.0.1 f then if you trying to initialize this int i equals to f here data is initialized but data will lost zero point is gone right it will not work so means data when the data is lost then what which exception is coming loss of precision which error is coming loss of precision data is losing it will get a error this is the need to so now we can specify floating point literals even exponential form or also in java we can specify floating point in the exponential exponential is e power e to power 10.0 into 10 to power 3 like that this is the exponential exponential so here you can see double d equals to 10 e to so means 10 to power 10 into 10 to power 2 like that okay here this is that meaning 10 to power 2 like system dot out if you want to print the 10 is 100, 100 multiply 10, 1000 you will get. So here output is there. So now floating also, you can try f equals to 10. Why it's giving? Why? Because you are using a float, but it's valid. But you are not taking f at the end of this, like suffix. Okay, suffix. You should use the suffix f in the floating point. If you are not using, getting uh, loss of precision. Okay. Why? Because it is by default it is treating as a double double you cannot initialize into double you cannot add into the floating float variables so this is the reason so float f equals to 10 e to power f this is the pilot why because you are suffixing suffix using f right so next is boolean literals we complete which we completed which how much we completed like integral literal and floating thing literal here is four type we have here is the two types here four is uh, uh, byte sort int long okay here two float double right so using here we should by default is in the floating literals by default is the double explicitly we should define as the float right okay so now here is the boolean now third is the boolean boolean letter there are allowed value of the boolean type is true or false only these two values are there their case is important lower case and also is lower case and if you take true as this then it won't work it is a simple identifiers you can take like this this is the identifiers right oh identifier i think will be missed right last ppt okay in the at the land at the end of the sessions i will finish that also so now boolean be true it is not working why because you are taking inside the string so you should take true directly not inside the string incompatible type a string cannot assign to that variable if you type mismatch if you type mismatch then incompatible error will come type mismatch right so here some photo i have attached i think is planned you can see it's easy why well, because in here we are passing x we are taking zero in the zero is meaning in the java not in c or c plus plus zero is means false and one means true but in java is not there java papers provide a two uh, identifiers you can say true or false you can pass a true or false right in anywhere you can see. you will get an incompatible time now next is up to that we completed three First is integer, second is the floating, four integral, floating, and boolean. Now, last one, okay, char. Single character, right? Char literals can represent a single character. 
within single quotes. What is the char is single character within single quotes. Then you can say this is the char literal. So here, if this is the declaration is the valid because we are declaring same thing. Here you can not using single quotes. That's why it's getting error. Here you can see you are using double quotes, getting error. Here you can use single quotes, but double character. It is also error. So we can specify char literals and integral literals, which is represent unicode of that character, which is representing unicode of the. We can specify a char literal as an integral literal, which is represent a unicode of that literal, right? Here is the example. We can also specify that integral literal either in the decimal or octal or hexadecimal form, but allowed values range is this. In the only char literals or something like this. So here char, if you using char th equals to 97. So in the unicode, some value is there in the Java. Some value is there. So I, I think so capital A or like small a is there. I'm not sure, but value is there. So it will print when you try to print SOP like, okay, it will print it. It will print the A, right? So this is also valid. Here is the point. Hexadecimal is allowed. Now here, if you're using within the range, if you are using within the range, then it's fine. But out of the range, it's not fine. If you 65553, this is the range 02. 02, 65535. It is valid. You can use it. If you go more than that, it's just getting the compile time error. And program will not work. Now next is, so this is some spaces. We can represent a character literals by Unicode representation, which is nothing but a X U and value. Also you can pass like that. Four digit hexadecimal number, like CH equals to plus U and variable you can declare like that, right? Value also you can declare CH U. CHU0061 hexadecimal you can take it number here is the print a right CH1 printing a it will convert into value suppose here G slash 0061 in the 61 is converted into the value some value like 97 I think okay this 97 in the unicode a is there so that's why A is printing here. So here you can see S2, you can see U slash slash 02. Here is the 01, 02. Cannot find symbol. This is not cannot find symbol. Why? Because you are netting, you are not taking single quotes. If you are taking a single quotes within that, then it don't, it is not giving an error. Right? So next is the fourth example is care CS3 I slash I. It is also giving. But it, illegal character you are using slash u then it work otherwise it's not every skip character is in java act as a car literal every character like n if you are taking slash n then it will take one new line t horizontal tab r carrying a return f form feed slash b backspace slash this single quotes slash double quotes slash slash backspace if you take in, in single quotes slash slash then it's backspace will come right so this is the valid in the single quotes you can declare if you are declaring l is not in that uh, list of that so characters escape characters so you cannot use right escape characters is there you know, slash and slash t slash r slash f slash b slash quotes Plus double quote and plus plus. So I have shared the PPT. You can go and just revise one more time. Is there anything? Okay, perfect. So now, which is the following declaration is valid? So pause that video and you can tell me what is the valid. This is the ballot, not this is not valid. Why? Because this is not taking a in the single quotes. This is the ballot. No, this is not valid. Why? Because it's taking two, three, car CH, 65, but range is 
65,500, something like this range is there. Uh -huh. Where is the range? Okay, 65,535. 65, Here you can see. Here you can see. 35. You are using 36. That's why it's getting error. Right? Out of range. If you within the range, then it's go. Good to go. What out of the range? Not possible in Java. Car CS U F U. Here is U is good, but you are not taking the slash. That's why it's getting error. Here you can the car CH slash slash. I think what is that? Here N. N is there. Unclose character literal. N is not there. None of this ever. इनमें से कोई भी valid नहीं है समझ गए you understood I think string literals we completed up to this just summarize integral integral comma floating floating integral integrals and floating integers boolean and char up to this we completed in the integral four we have floating double we have boolean we have fixed value true and false right and char we use in the single quotes and single characters then it's working and opposite here any sequence of character here we use Single, but using any sequence of character within the single course treated as, as a string literals. This is the string literals. Like my name, you can take Vivek. So this is the string literals. So here is the example. Asok is there. This is the valid. 1.7 enhancement with the respect of literals. So binary literals enhancement is there and use use underscore in the numeric literals. Why the underscore is uh, introduce why because number spacing suppose we have a big number like two three four five five six seven eight like that in the india we if you write a one thousand like that we writing now so that's why by using comma you can see by using comma you can separate that this is the one thousand if you hundred like that writing like that that's why the people java people introduce java for the more underscore for the more readability in the number format right to binary literals binary literals is there for the integral data types until 1.7 version we specify integral value in the following ways decimal octa hexadecimal now next is Hmm. go here but from 1.7 onwards we can specify literals value in binary form also binary form also 0 1 you can visualize int start with 0 b 0 b is the prefixed you should use if you using binary literals in its lies into the integer in this lies into the integer, then use 0b. What is that? 0b you should use. Where is my pen? Actually, I forgot it. My pen, where is That's why I'm trying to run it. Trying to write something, then I can identify there is my pen. So, use this underscore symbol is number literals. Onwards, we can understand underscore symbol in numeric literals. It is only valid for numeric numeric literals, right? So double you can take the readability will increase readability more readability like that. That's why it's the pretty. The main advantage of approaching the readability of the code will be important. Improve at the time of compilation. Okay, and Java also in the compilation symbol will remove the automatically and comma hence after. Compilation, the above lines will become like this. So we can use more than one underscore 
symbol also between the digit between the digit you can use we can uh, we should underscore symbol can between them this is the some cases you can go and check which one is valid which one is not valid okay, this is complete so now this is picture this is picture and very very important picture so we have seen integer integer we have byte byte can sort this is the sequence pair okay and int so int you can initialize here right it was possible not possible why because sort is big as compared to white so big how you can initialize big to small you can add byte to the sort it's good if you adding reverse then it will loss of precision error will come like that right and here if you using float and also same thing is happen loss of precision because after the zero after the point lost the data long if you are going if you are thinking long up so long ko hum int mein dal sakte hain link int is small perfect but long is big so up small ko iske andar kaise dal sakte kaise dal sakte dal sakte ho but aap isko nahi dal sakte this is not possible so this is that the now concept is array very very important in point interview point of view sir. so we have learned this concept introduction why array declaration construction initialization like 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 this this one tap x we have so introduction array is an index collect index based collection of fixed number of homogeneous data type. what is that array array is index based collection you can use the fixed number of uh, index fixed number of homogeneous data element we cannot dynamically increase that array so this is the main thing the main advantage of array we can re represent multiple value we can represent uh, multiple value at the same of the variable readability will include i have said it's told you if you having if you have uh, a or like that this value you can add this not oh no where does our wait i think so array is okay so this is the main point highlight are not required pen color should be change like that we can take this okay so but the main disadvantage of array size is fixed this is the main disadvantage size is fixed okay create an array there is no chance to increase or decrease the size advantage which may be not possible in all which so what is that advantage of array tell me advantage of that array or i yeah. can go Yes. The main advantage of array is we can represent multiple values with the same name of that read same name of the readability of the code will in same name of that variable. Here in some same name of that variable. This is the main advantage. Like you can one variable you can in assign a multiple value in the array concepts. So this is the some examples here. We can resolve this problem by using collection, right? Like increasing the size and decreasing the size homogeneous. Also, homogeneous is nothing but the same type of data you can store inside the database. Sorry, inside the array, not a database. So array declaration, single dimensional, single 
dimensional array. This is the dimensional. You can say single dimensional. If anyone asks what in the array, what is the dimensional? So you can see square bracket is the dimensional here. So here separated that example. You can like this. This is valid. This is also valid. This is also valid. Valid, valid, valid. In valid cases, you cannot use in the two dimensional array within that dimension. You cannot use add as a variable, add variable. So some points, the declaration is there. All the declaration are valid. All the declaration, in this case, in this case, we have three dimensional. Two dimensional, I have told you, told you in this ratios you cannot take. But three dimensional, it's perfectly valid. So now this is the notes. This is also declaration notes if we want to specify the dimension before the variable before the variable what is that if you want to specify the dimension this is the dimension before that variable before that variable like that then rule is applicable only for first variable this is applicable only first variable if you the second variable it is not valid Let's see. Second variable onward, second variable onward, we cannot apply in the same declaration. Like that. It's invalid. This is the last. That's why it's invalid. If you second one, it's valid. Array construction. This is the array construction. Every array in Java object hence will be created by using new operators. Use new operators, create a object of that array, create object of that array. So object created inside the object array will there. So this object initialized with A by using A, you can access this array. Okay. So now here is some rules we have also and first if you declare single dimensional if you single dimensional or if you want to print that value then it will print square single then l then if you print i is there l i don't know but let's see okay then double dimensional double will come if you double if you uh, data types is double then square braces i double Right, rule one at the time of array creation, compulsory we should specify the size, otherwise, we will get compile time error. Rule number one size is mandatory. If you're creating an array size, you should pass the size. If you're not passing the size, compile time error, array dimension missing, right? Dimension missing, dimension, dimension. We can say rule two it is legal to have an array with the zero size in Java. Yes, it's valid. Length will print as a zero. So rule three, what it's saying, if we are taking array size within positive negative, in that we will get runtime exception saying negative array size exception. You cannot take negative as a size of array, right? Rule number four, Kagata. The allowed data type to specify array size are white, sort, care, int. By mistake, if you are using any other type, we will get compile time error. Allowed data type to specify array size. What is that allowed data type? Only four. Only four data types is allowed. Byte you can pass, sort you can pass, care you can pass, and int you can pass. If you other than that, it will get an error. Exception or error. Okay, like that. Here it's valid. Why? Because it's a character. Car is allowed. And if you passing car, it means it is taking 97. Right? That's why it's good. So byte. Byte is also the integer. Integer you can pass that perfectly. Sort you can also pass 20. And here if you passing the new, it's getting that 101 means it is taking a binary number. As a binary number, that's why it's getting error. If you taking int this a equals to new int 10.10, .10, this is also not valid.
So now rule number five, maximum allowed IRS size in Java. IRS size in Java. Size of integer. This is size of integer. Up to that, you can pass size. You can declare. If you if you're doing instead of 21, say 1, 4, 8, 3, 6, 4, 7. And using instead of 7, 8, then it will getting an error. What is that error? Out of memory error. Out of memory error. It will get. But because memory is not there for this type of range, this type of size, array will not create. So multidimensional array creation. Kaisa create kata multidimensional. In Java, multidimensional array are implemented as the array of array. What is that? Array of array. Array of array. Array of array. Like that. If you having two, like two of two. Like two of two means array having two means two, two. Two of two, like two. So here the example you can understand easily. The main advantage of this approach to improve the memory utilization. Why would the memory utilization is there? So here uh, we triggered single double dimensional array. Like we pass the size, base size. This is nothing but a base size. Base size is two, then two will create it. And inside the two, zero. This is the zero. This is the one position. Inside the zero position, three size will create it. Three will create it. In the one position, it will create a two size. Two size array. This is array of array. So now clear. Now come down. Here you can understand morely. This is the one more example. Two dimensions. This is two. This is the base size. And this is the one position. This is a two position. You can create two. Okay. And here, zeroth position. In the zeroth position, three. In the zeroth position is three dimensional array will create a three dimension. Three dimension. Three dimension you passes created. In the zeroth of zero. Zero of zero. Zero. Zero of zero. Then it will create one. One dimension array. Zero of one. It will create two dimension here. Zero of two. And zero of two. Zero of two is two. It will create three. Three is created. Because two is here. Uh, 0, 1, 2, right? And A of 1 equals to new int 2 of 2. It will create a 2 arrays. 0 of 1 position. 0 of where is 0 of 1? Here. 0 of 1. This is the 0 of 1. 0 of 1. 0 of 1 having 2 of 2 created 2 and 2 instance the 2. We equal it. So now come into that, which is the following declaration are valid, which is the following declaration are valid. So int, uh, it, int dimension a equals to new int compile time error because size is mandatory. Int two dimension, two dimension equals to new valid because size is there, dimension is perfectly valid. So three, int dimension equals to new dimension three, base size is valid, it's valid, perfectly valid. Int dimension dimension equals a equals to new int zero size. Base size is not there, it means giving the error compiled. Expected valid. Okay. So int dimension three dimension is there, new equals to three valid because we are passing base size also and other size also. Like sub sizes also we are passing. So here sixth example is three dimensional array equals to new is there. Input is valid. Is it what is this asking? Base size is only asking. Nothing else. Int equals to this. If you are passing base size and input the second array, zeroth position array, second array, second dimension, then it will get also error. So array, next topic is array initialization. How to initialize the array. Whenever we are creating an array, every element in initialize with the default value. What is that? Default value automatically. Default value in the array depends on the type integer for the zero okay for the object is null it's initializing so here you can see size is three array it creates three a print the a you will get get the object here you can see i is there it means single dimensional array at the rate until you whatever 
So system dot out dot print talent a of zero. It will also uh, a of zero is inside the default value is zero. That it will print a zero. So here example you can see a of zero inside the zero position one position two position. If you are accessing a of one, then this data will come for this variable. We are printing like this. So now next is. This is the base size. Base size is important. So now the class name, this is nothing but a class. This is nothing but a class name. Okay. And hexadecimal string properties. Best. So string internally will call to string model. Inside the SOP, inside the system dot out dot print talent by default or internally it call the two string method. That's why it's printing a string. This is diagram you can see. Next is. Next is. Next is. We declare two dimension. Two dimension A equals to new to zero. This is the base size is perfectly working. If you want to print A, then it will print a Two means two square brackets means it's a two dimensional array. Is that two dimensional array? So if you printing a of zero, a of zero means it's having null value. Why? Because in that uh, two dimensional array, by default in the sub array is the null value is there. If you want to print a only up level, then it will zero is, is storing in the single dimensional array. Okay, null here, there. right? So once we create an array, all its element by default initialize with the default value. If we are not satisfied with those default value, then we can replace with our customized value. So we declare four. So directly you can initialize with the zeroth position, one position, second position, third position, fourth position. But here is the size in the array starting size is zero to 0 to n okay like that 0 to n minus 1 0 to n minus 1 but suppose size is 5 okay so n minus 1 n minus in 5 minus 1 means 4 total size is 4 up to that 4 is there so 1 2 3 4 4 can initialize if you going more than that then it will array index out of bound exception will come You want to see, then you can see them. Okay. Now, next is diagram here. Also, you can replace that value, not 10 to 2. That's why it's replacing that. If we are trying to access array element without a range index, we will get an runtime exception like array index or about exception. That exception will be declaration, construction, and initialization of single line. This is the important. How to declare it? Like that, we declare it. Like that we declared, like that we declared. Single dimensional. If you two dimensional, just put it this, put it this, put it this, separated with the comma. Two dimensional. Three dimensional, put it this, put it this, put it this, put it this, like that. Valid. Like that. We have three dimensional, right? First, we take first bracket with this, second bracket. And second bracket, we should to put at a sub arrays, right? Perfect. The same example, so not required to explain here. If we want to use this shortcut compulsory we should perform declaration, construction, and initialization in single line. Right? We should pass that. If we are trying to divide into multiple lines, then we will get a compile time error. Like if you're using this to converting this, getting error. But you can use this to this is possible. 
multi line you can convert into single line but single line you cannot convert into multi line this is the total purpose so length is there so length is just a variable for the uh, arrays and length is the method for that uh, string okay so length it is final where is my pain okay it is final variable applicable only for array this is the final variable okay it is final means you cannot change it is the represent the size of array size of array it will represent example if you want to print size of array then x dot length that's it it will return a three if you are using x dot length then if you're using x dot method then it will get compiled time and you cannot find method because it's not belonging to that arrays it's belonging to a string so yeah length is the method length is the method so it is final method applicable for the string objects it is written number of character present in the string number of character if you 10 5 in that vivek vivek we have so in that vivek how many number of characters is there five so it will return as a five so same example <clears throat> here i have declared this course so you can go and watch this you can go and practice not watch okay so here length variable <clears throat> applicable only for arrays where length method is applicable for string right right there is no direct way to find total size of multi-dimensional array but indirectly we can follow that multi-dimensional array if you want then x of 0 dot plus you can use 1 dot length 2 dot length in the multi-dimensional anonymous sometimes we are creating an array without the name such type of nameless array are called anonymous array the main objective of anonymous array is just for the instance use just for the not instance instant use just for the instant use we use this just just for the instant use not for that we can create anonymous array as follow like that we can create instant use if you are using uh, like storing and uh, sending that uh, array somewhere else to use in your application so you are not required to go for this if you are using instant use like just use it and throw it then use nameless array this is the example also you can see its value which is inviolate okay this is the example explanation and at the time of anonymous array creation we can't specify the size otherwise it will get and compile time error in the anonymous array you cannot declare the size based on our programming requirement we can give the name of anonymous then it is no longer anonymous okay like that this is the example in the above program just to call some we are require an array but after completing right some all calls we can go and just try and run this example i have said so now array element assignment how to assign the array element first case if in the case of primitive array as array element any type is allowed which can be promoted to declare type promoted to declare type example one you can see for the int type array the allowed array element the types are byte sort care int byte sort care int so here we use we create one array object i want to add that object into this a of 0 97 and a of 1 like 0 white is same this like this and this this is binary as treated as a binary so you cannot so example all these things are by for the float types array the allowed element type are byte sort car int long for float type array inside the float type array if you are using float type array then you can use if you are using uh, uh, int type array then you can only allow this this 
in the float byte is allowed sort is allowed car is allowed int is allowed long is allowed like this is the example hmm. perfect so now case two in the case of object type array as array object type array as array element we can provide either the declared type object or its child class so object dimension a equals to new object size is 10 then 0 then 10 is used and a object object is initializing the number like other things it's valid here you can see a of 2 a new string vaskar because array is object object is the super class super class in java if nothing is there you can initialize inside the array right so that's why it's taking a string and all these things it's declared as an object if you use the int if you declare as an int you cannot use like this just passing only integer of value inside the object you can pass any object like integer object integer is a wrapper classes object class string class example two you declare as a number so number you can use integer double string vaskar it is possible not vaskar is not possible why because it's declared as a number invalid so object this is the object class this is the number class number we have this case 3 case 3 in the case of interface type array as it array element we can provide it implemented class object like runnable runnable is interface and declare size is 10 runnable size is 10 and i want to add some thread into zeroth position and oneth position like that it's possible okay but other than that runnable implemented class is possible and if you not implemented that class then it will not like array type primitive array object type array interface type array object class type array allowed element type any type of which can be promoted to declare type right either declare the type or its child class of object interface type array it is implemented class object allowed its child class object are allowed abstract array array variable assignment how to analyze array variable is very easy very easy case one element level promoted are not applicable at array object level array object level example a car value can be promoted to int can be promoted to car to int type but car array cannot be promoted int array car array cannot promoted to int but car value can promoted to we have what white sort int and car car value is promoted to int but car array cannot promote it to int array. This is the point here. In the example, single line declaration is there. Okay, construction, initialization, and declaration. A having three, size of three array. So car 0 ch equals 2 is valid. Then V can initialize with A can initialize with B. Why? Because int array int array can initialize to that v okay b array why because this is int right but if you are trying to care to initialize with the int incompatible type array data type mismatch incompatible incompatible type means data type mismatch so now this is the example last example you can go through Car. car int possible this is a simple variable but car array and car int array not possible but int and long is possible int array or long array not possible double or float is invalid double you cannot 
double you cannot inside the float. Why? Because double is big size and float is small. D and F. F, how you can up add the waste? You can see also in the picture kya hai? white, sort, int, float, double, long. Right? Right, this we have. So series here, float can add inside this and double can add. So double and float in valid string object and object. This is the both is classes. Object is super class of a string class. So can add a string array and object array. It's also valid. The class level is valid. In the case of object type array, child type array can be assigned to parent type array variable. This is the child parent relation. So a string yes can having this and object can having this. Then you can insert this object. This is the valid. Valid. Okay. Diagram. Case 2. Okay. Whenever we are assigning one array to another array internally elements on to v on to v on to v just reference variable will be reassigning hence size are not important but type must be matched suppose we have a int we have a int and we have a size reassigning is there reassigning like A declare with the size is this and B assigning with the size is this. Then B you can add A, A I can add B. Here assignment is assignment is going left to right. So B assigned to the A, A assigned to the B is perfectly valid, not an invalid case. Case 3. Case 3 is Whenever we are assigning assigning array to another array, dimensions must be matched. Dimension that is in place of one dimensional array, we should provide the same type only. Otherwise, we will get compared. Dimension also will it will match. If this is the two dimension, this is the two dimension, and size is three and zero position. A of zero. You, equals to new int size is 4 5 incompatible type it int is not 10 also is not it why a of 0 base size is 3 then it will create 3 g 0 right now is 0 here is value like uh, 0, 1, 2. In the A of the 0, A of 0, A of 0, it want to create 4 size. How? The 4 size is not, it is not compatible type array. Not, whenever we are performing array assignment, the type of dimension must be matched, but size are not important. Must, size are not important, but dimension should be matched. Example, here, example 1, you can see, in the 3, 2, dimension 2, it is the valid or invalid, here is that invalid or invalid, invalid, invalid cases, this is the valid case, right, and this is the diagram, it is 3, 3, 2, 3, 2. Total number of object created 11. How many object eligible for garbage collection which you having null value? Eligible for the garbage collection. Examples are there. You can go and what is that output for this out? We created one array initialized with the AB and array can initialize into the this ox 
it's valid. Print dot length. Here is the length is two. Why? Because you are not passing the length of this ox. Replace with i a ox dot length. Ox dot length. Equals two. What are number? Yeah, na. Yeah, but two size. I have given it zero to three. Till it goes. Equals to three. Till it goes. Now two one. Test. Ox ox implies by using for each loop. This is the for each loop. This is the for each loop. Output will come. Now type of variable very very important. Type of variables, type of variables. So in Java, division based on type of values represented by variable, all variables are divided into two types. They are primitive and difference. Primitive is uh, integer, like integer. Variable can be used to represent a primitive value. This is the primitive value, A, 10, 30, 20. This is the primitive value. Where your reference is, reference variable can be used to refer an object, refer that object, reference variable. Suppose if you, this is the object and this object is referring A, so A is the reference variable you can say. Here is the reference uh, primitive variable, primitive variable A is initialized with 10, so you can say 10 is, A is the primitive variable. Based on these variables and locations, the division is true. Based on the behavior and position of the declaration, all variables are divided into three types. Instance variable, static variable, and local variable. Most of the interviewer ask question from these topics. Important. Instance variable. If the value of variable varied from object to object, such type of variable called instance variable. Value varied from object to object. Okay. For every object, a separated copy instance variable will be created. One for the every instance variable, every instance variable, one separate object will be copy created. For every object, a separate copy will be created of that instance variable. Instance variable will be created at the time of object creation. When the instance variable is created at the time of destroy at the time of destruction and the scope is instance variable is exactly same as the scope of object. What is the scope of object? That time of uh, instance variable is de uh, deinitialized means destroy for the garbage collection. Now next is instance variable will be stored on the heap. In the method area we have five type of area. In this five type area, we have one heap. So instance variable where is stored in the heap area. JVM. Instance variable should be declared within the class directly, but outside of any method or block or constructor, constructor not. Instance variable can be accessed directly from instance area, directly instance area, but cannot access directly from static area. If you want to access in the static area, then you should create that object. Then you can use that object, you can access that. By using object reference, we can access instance variable from a static area. Okay, This is the instance variable. We declare as that class label. You can also say that this is the class label variable. It's called the instance. Okay, Without a static, if you there. So now, if you want to access this, variable inside the static area, then you should create the object of this uh, reference for this class, then we will get that. We create that and t dot, then valid is getting. So now, for the instance variable, it is not required to perform initialization by default, JVM will perform that default initialization is nothing but zero. If a Boolean is false, right? So now instance variable, now, instance variable also known as object label variable or attribute. Static variable. If we are, <clears throat> if 
the value of the variable is not varied from object to object such type of variable is not recommended to declare as instance variable we have to declare type of variable uh, at class level by using static modifiers what is that modifier we use static modifier this is object to object such type of it not varied to object to object only one copy this is that the if you are not varied from object to object then multiple copy will not generate it only one copy will generate it and share with that copy with all object or referenced so now next second point is this one so in this case instance variable instance variable for every object a separate copy will create it for every object one separate copy will create it but in the case of the static variable for entire class only one copy will be created and shared by every object it means only one one copy is created if you declare variable as static then one copy is created for every object and number of object you can create same copy will share if you copy having 10 10 value then that 10 value can share with other object but in that uh, in that instance variable it's a different scenario the every object every object one separate copy will create in the instance class so now next point is static create a static variable created at the time of class loading and destroy at the class unloading simple static variable will store in the method area not in heap area and instance is storing the heap area a static variable can be accessed from both instance and static area directly this is the accessing accessible is static and accessible inside the static area you can directly on the instance area you can directly instance area is nothing but a without the static keyword if you declare any method then you call this is the instance area method other than like this is instance area but within the same class if it is not required to use class name we can access directly but outside of the class you can use that class name of if you want to access that variable so now this is complete so now some jvm execution flow this is the flow first is jvm is to start right create and start the main thread by the jvm and load locate the find test class find the class by the main thread find the class by the main thread and load that class by the main thread and static variable creation at the time of this loading the class and execute the main method unloading the test then destroying the static variables terminate the main method so now this is the flow you can see this this is the static static declare as the static keyword using so inside the static so you can access by using reference also or by using direct class name also or by using direct this is the static area this is the static variable in the instance area is also same thing for a static variable, it is not required to perform initialization explicitly. JBM will take it. JBM will initialize the default value. If it's a string, null is the default value. If it's the object, null is the default value. This is the object. If it's the integer type, like integral type, it will initialize the zero. If it's the floating point, it will initialize the 0, 0.0. If it's the Boolean type, it will initialize with the flow true and false. Like that, it will initialize. Right? So now next is the example of a so this is the instance variable this is the static variable right the instance variable why we can access instance variable we can access by using reference variable of that class okay and the static variable static variable you can access by using both the base by using class name by using the static variable by the static and by using class name right perfectly here is one thing is remaining here you can see here you can see x is having 10 copy concept in there and y is having 20 right so here you can access t dot x equals to 80 80 t dot x x is 10 right and y is 99 and in the static not varied but instance is varied right 
one object is shared to another. In the instance, every, 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 in the instance, every object, one separate copy will be created. For this, 10 is there, it's okay, fine. It's okay, fine. 10 is there. But when you create t dot x or initializing at t, t then it's creating one more copy and initialize with at t, at t. Perfect. No, 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 no. No. At t, at t is not initialized. Why? Because instance is varied from object to object. A static variable is if you not going to that, you can see here is static. In the case of instance variable for every object, a separate copy will create. What is that? One separate copy will create it. But in this case of a static variable for entire class, only one copy. Same thing. Only one copy it will create it. What is that? Only one copy will create it in the static. Only 20 is created static, right? T dot by T dot by 99, right? Now I think you understood diagram. By is initializing with 20, Y is static, 10 is X is instance, right? So X equals to 10 initialized with a T at T. Size. Again, t dot y kara. t dot y kara inside 20, 99. Then t dot dot x like that. A static variable also known as the class level variable. Then local variable. Some of the time is the temporary requirement of the programmer. For the temporary requirement, the class level, if the method level scope is there, then you can say the go for the local variable inside the class you can declare. Local variable will be stored inside the stack where we store inside the stack the local variable will be created as part of the block execution which is declared and destroyed once that block execution completed what is that block completion is hence the scope of local variable is exactly same as the scope of the block in which we declared example one this is the example i is class level if you trying to access i outside of this method it's getting a error not defined like that symbol not find cannot find symbol right now test class main method Try integer dot pass and 10 is there. 10. 10 is a string. You can convert into the int, then null pointer exception. If I, if you trying to access outside of this, inside the catch, I have tried, I'm trying to access. It's getting a compile time error, right? This. The, the local, uh, the local variable will be destroyed on the stack on the stack variable will be stored in the stack where we store local variable stacks in the uh, you can remember three things instance heap right the static method area and local stack stack area in the last i will show you so this is the example you can go through that. This is also practicals code. Yeah. Okay, x arc dot length is greater than zero in slice with ten, right? As x is zero, then print that x. X is method level, right? So inside that method you can access t dot x. 10. Some validation. <clears throat> it is never recommended to perform initialization for the local variable inside that logical block. 
logical block because there is a no argument of executing no guarantee to executing the block always at run time it is highly recommended to perform initialization for local variable at the time of declaration not required not perform initialization local variable inside the logical logical blocks so you should you should pass the initialization at the time of declaration invalid public protected invalid pro private protected invalid static invalid volatile invalid inside the local variable you cannot take these modifiers you just default modifier that's it So conclusion is that about this topic for uh, for the static and instance variable in this a it is not required to perform initialization explicitly not required JVM will provide the default value but for the local variable JVM won't by providing any default value compulsory we should perform initialization explicitly before using that variable before using that variable for every object the separate copy of instance variable will be created whereas for inter, entire class the single copy of a static variable will be created copy is not creating a static initialization is happening yeah, guys, if you're not understanding, copy is creating like this. If you yax, that example I have done yax dot like something t dot x equals to a t t. Then copy is created. Why? Because this is x is instance, right? Instance variable. Copy will create it. But t dot by initialize any value. Copy will not create. Copy will not create. Only one copy will create. You can modify that copy also. You can modify only that copy, not other copy. Same thing. And hence, these are not a thread save, but locally variable can be accessed by only one thread at a time. And hence, the local variable are thread save. If if we are not declaring any modifier explicitly, then it take a default modifier. But this rule is applicable only for static and instance variable, not for local variable. So uninitialized array in Java. So if you not initialize that array, what value it initialized default? So it you are taking one variable called a and uh, here a is taking static and here t1 is creating object of that class and then a dot trying to access that a by using this then it will initialize by default is null value. If you initializing inside that value runtime exception instance level class is there. Got it? Don't be confused. This is the object thing in Java. Everything is array in object in Java. Array is object. That's why null value is there. Example one, you can see int dimension a. So if you trying to print a object a, then null. By using object creation trying to get the null value and if you get access inside that array then you will get null pointer exception example two size is there array if declare a size perfectly you declare a size obj dot a here is declaration is there no default value is taking default value here is default value what is the default value taking at the time of initialization array Okay, so array 0, 0, 
can we initialize the size if you declare the size then one array will create then that array by default value based on that data type it will be stored so now static label we instance is done a static level is static equals to int a then if you're trying to access null value null because default value should be zero default value is initializing with null if you're creating an object and initialize the size then you will get same thing zero same example and local <clears throat> okay here yeah. Once we created an array, every element is always initialized with the default value, right? Irrespective whether it's the static or instance or local variable, whatever it is, it initialized. Every variable in Java should be either instance or static or local. Other than that, you cannot declare anything. Every variable in Java should be either primitive or referenced. What is that? Referenced. Hence the, hence, the following are the various possible combinations. What is that? Possible combinations we have. Instance, we can have referenced and primitive. Static also can be primitive. Instance, local can primitive and reference also. So, the test class int dimension a equals to new int 3. Then this is nothing but instance reference. Instance of static int x equals to 20 means primitive primitive static public static void main inside the local string s equals to this is the object string is the class in the java so local reference is there so now coming to the next topic the varag method varag method is introduced in 1.5 version before that, you can notice where argument that is simple, double dot is there. So you can use this point also. It's not this approach can increase the length of the code. So that's why reducing the length of the code. So they introduce where arg method for the triple sign. Perfect. So we can call invoke this by passing number of int value, including the zero also. Like that. We can pass. And zero also we can pass 10, we can pass n number of value, we can pass and execute that method. Internally, where are methods calling one dimensional array? Perfect. So this is that example you can ex I, I can explain. Sum is the method with the where are argument, where are methods. This is the where are method you can say. So total equals to zero, then I start with zero colon i less than x dot length whatever length you are passing then calculate and total at this here is passing zero it means it print a zero here you are passing 10 then it will 10 you are passing 10 and 20 length is 2 then it will execute two time and add to the two value it will print like 30 here then here is the size is 1 2 3 4 5 then it will length length is 4 then it will execute for loop at four times. Four times. When we execute four times, then total will become adding. 10 is adding 20, 20, we become 30, 30 become 30, 60, 30 become 40. 40 means 30, oh, 40. It's 60 and 40 is 100. We will get 100 here. Like that. So now int. This is the second example. By using for each loop, you can do same thing. So here is the case one, some cases, which are following element that is valid. So this is valid, this is valid. Before that, you can use mid of you can use method one invalid. At the end, you cannot use double triple dot method one. You can space, cannot use it int one method in dot this is also in one case two we can mix there are parameter with the journal parameters also if you passing another parameter inside the method you can use but 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 condition is oh, last method you should declare as a variable right last no other method variable last argument you can pass as the rare method if you are passing first and second then it will get compiled time error case three 
this is invalid na just this case three i have to to telling you this is valid this is invalid why because you are taking at that starting of that method argument you can take at the last case four within the varar method we can take only varar parameter that is if you are trying to more than varar method one more than one it is not valid invalid case more than one varar method is not working in general varar method will get list priority that is if you know other method match then varar method will we get a chance this is exactly same as the default case inside the switch case if no method match is there related to this then varar method will execute if match is there then first that method will execute other than after that varar method get the chance so for that varar method we can provide the corresponding type of as the argument like this is the conversion One dimensional varar method you can pass. Case seven like T like this. Output compile time error. Cannot declare both method as a method one method and method name is same. An argument is also same. Why? Because it's internally converting this to this. Converting int dot 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 i internally is JVM is looking like internally array of i. Right? If you change the variable name, then it's perfectly working. Not giving us So single dimensional array versus multi visits where are methods. So case one, where single dimensional array present, we can replace with the varar parameters. Perfectly, we can working. In the main method, we are single dimensional, so we use triple dot varar. So method one int dot dot x, we can this method by passing the group of one d int. X will be become 2D array. Analyzing X become this. Hmm. Method one taking a varar method and I in tight and 20 M list this one method passing the I method one and M. Main method, uh, important main method. Whether the class contain main method or not, and whether it is properly declared or not, the checking are not responsible of the compiler. Compiler will not check. At the runtime, JVM is responsible to check if Java JVM unable to find. The required method then we'll get runtime exception called no such method found nowadays the error is changed they change this is the method we have public why the public java people declare as a public to call by the jvm from anywhere JVM method call that's why it's public static nahi chata object create karna wo directly access karna chata isliye wide koi return type nahi chata jvm isliye main method kyun diya naam iska main main kyun diya main kyun diya it's a uh, java people knows this why they taking as a main and here here command line argument this is that topic is not working in my system <laughs> that's why i'm not showing the example so we skip that command line only okay the string asks we are passing like that main method can declare within the following modifiers by using final is synchronized strict fe you can use and you can swap that also 
not required. Which of the following main method declare that the pilot does not pilot? You can take that as skins or uh, So case one check overloading of main method is possible, but JVM always call string arc argument as a main method only. Main method is this. If this is simple main, like taking a int array. If you passing a string array, then it is main method, but duplication is also not allowed. What will what you can do to output this? The overloaded method we have to call explicitly, then only it will execute. Case two inheritance inheritance concept is applicable for static methods, including main method. Hence, while executing child class, if the child class doesn't contain main method. This is the parent class, this is child class. Child class main method does not have. Main method not have. The parent having, main method is parent having. And what is the chance? The main method is executing parent main method. Right? Parent main method will execute it. Analysis parent main method will get the chance to execute. So some analysis I have given. You can go through that. Okay. Enhancement. Enhancement. Some just changing the message, nothing else. They change the method. No such method error. We get that the more meaningful, like we are adding more meaningful instead of this Java 7 version. Java C test, we are main method is not there. Main method not found in the class test. Please define the main method like this. They are giving a snap power also. Java 17 version. The programmer, this is the important version onward, the start from execution compulsory main method should be there required hence when the class contain a static block if main method not available then won't be executed like that java static is there java 6 version output is there but after java 7 version or 7 onwards in the 7 if you trying to add this code then it will giving this exception this error add main method like that so simple it's saying like in the java latest version you are should it's strictly strictly saying you should add main method inside your class then you can able to run your java program otherwise you will get exception so now next is is example is there so you can go try this examples last video in the main method video title is there you can go and watch there i have explained all this point just for the revision purpose this, this session i have taken why because some people are not like listening the class and all the things they are doing in the parallel maybe they are not able to like uh, revise these things just i'm revising for you that's why this is the my teaching will I will teach like this once I will complete the topic I will plan one session and record that upload on the video upload in the YouTube we will go and watch that also if you want to revision so now in my system right now where our method is not working so I'm not showing this so where our method is nothing passing that uh, argument passing that argument with that your run command java c test and passing that it will take is zero position one position this position it will taking as the internally array internally array string array arcs it will take then print i xyz
yes you are passing a b c and it will printing x y z why because internally it's x y and z reinitialization re is happening here within the main method command line argument is that the command line argument it's not possible to this operator is not adding this object it's performing a concatenation Java coding standards we have. Whenever we are writing Java code, is highly recommended to follow the coding standard, level ten understand. So coding standard for the class usually class name are nouns. Nouns should be start with uppercase. Letter contain the multiple words. Every word should be start with uppercase letters. If you have a multiple words, then like test class. Test is class. Like service, uh, you can take one like student test, student test. This is the Java standards. Okay, you cannot take like student. Yes, is the capital and T is small. No, 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 not working. So, interface, so objective is. Objective. This is the objective. This is the norm. Should be start with uppercase letter. And if you can say multiple words, then same same, same scenario is there. The next is example, serializable, clonable, and like this. Method start with a small letter, and if we any separation is there, then use a capital letter. This is the example. Get suddenly get method. Coding standard for variables. Variable same as the method. Should start with the lowercase alphabet symbol. Should start with the lowercase alphabet symbol. And if you contain multiple words, if you contain multiple words, every in inner words should be start with uppercase. Constant. Every in the constant declaration, it should be everything is capital letter. And if anything is there, separate it with underscore, right? Java bean, set us and get us like this, private, like that we declared. Bean is not from the bean, some microsystems. So. Syntax for method. Method should be prefixed with get, should be public. Return type should not be there, right? Okay. So coding standard for literals. Literal. Not a literal. This is a listener. Listener. Okay. Oh, no. Listener. Add that method. Add my action listener. Action listener I. Valid. Invalid. Kya? Register my action listener. My action listener I. Invalid. Unregistered you can use. Remove why? Well, this is that important. I have told you five method area. The method area JBM memory representation inside the JBM memory represents a method area. We have inside the method method area a static block and a static variable a reference variable is stored on the instance variable only store inside the heap area and stack area storing the method calls and local variables we have pc registers and native method stack native method stack two stacks are there first is the native and remember this one now here class level binary data including a static variable Including a including static variable will be stored in method area. Objects and corresponding instance variable will be stored in heap area. Objects and corresponding instance. Instance where is stored in the heap area. For and binary data static variable will be stored in method area. 
like method area is a static variable you can just put and binary data also for every method the jvm will create a runtime stack all method call performed by that thread and corresponding local why because it's storing in the stack area stack area because every method call is happening inside the stack area so that local variable also is stored inside the stack area the instruction which has not executed next will be stored in the corresponding pc register the instruction which has to execute it next jo step next execute hogi na wo store hoti hai jaise method execute ho raha method ke baad second method execute hoga to wo method ek store uski instruction uski instruction store hogi pc mein pc register mein native method invocation will be store in native method stack invocation so that's finish today's topics so i think you got i think you got the confidence the language fundamentals this is the language fundamentals i have taken six sessions separately one revision sessions the one revision session i have completed and i have shared this node keep it i have shared this note on the in this channel i will share the video and notes also i am sharing in this group the notes is available if you want then you can yeah. okay in this group you can send me the request i will approve you then you can get enjoy your learning so thank you we will meet next topic next topic is our what is that operators and assignment of the topic so thank you thank you and continuation of that uh, i am planning one beautiful session for the micro services how to run micro services by using single micro services okay so let's see up to that signing off thank you thank you we will meet next session about using identifiers for the identifiers so thank thank